Hello and welcome to Benedictine. My name is Al Lagadki and I teach music courses in the Department of Visual Performing and Media Arts at Benedictine. Following this year's theme of hospitality, my contribution to the summer reading program will present one of many examples of how music can transform and create community through hospitality. In its explanation of hospitality, the Association of Benedictine Colleges and Universities says that the educational community that can result from hospitality breaks down any residual sense of insiders versus outsiders and manifests an openness to being transformed by engaging deeply with the other, be it an idea, a person, or an experience. So that last sentence about insiders versus outsiders really resonated with me. And it reminded me of a music colleague named Dr. Mary Cohen, who started a community choir in 2009 uh, that happens to meet inside of a me uh, medium security correctional facility in Iowa. She runs it like a regular community choir, except it meets in a prison and members wear either green or purple shirts, depending on whether they are an inside singer or an outside singer. The materials that I'm sharing with you include several items that provide a sense of what the choir is all about. First, I include a three minute video trailer from a longer documentary about the choir. Next, I'm sharing two short newspaper articles about, a community, about that community choir. Uh, the first one about a college writing professor who joined the choir and then later helped out with some of the songwriting workshops. And then a second article that contains reflections from both inside and outside members of the choir. Last, I've included two sound files from the songwriting workshop, which are from a concert in the gymnasium of the prison that's held as part of the workshop at the end of the uh, experience. Uh, the first track, called Benzo Piano, is introduced by one of the inside members of the workshop who wrote the song. He explains how dialogue and welcoming others led to understanding, stronger community, and legislative change. The second track, called Remember, Be Love, is kind of a cool mashup of spoken word, some singing, a little bit of rap, uh, that was written by another inside member on the themes of diversity, compassion, kindness, and action. As you read and listen, I would be interested to know what aspects of hospitality you see in the Oakdale Community Choir program, and I look forward to having a chance to hear some of your reflections in August. That's what I've got for you right now, and uh, I look forward to meeting you and hope you have a great rest of your summer. See you soon.